Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. From the Harry Potter series becoming a worldwide sensation to fans not getting enough of the books and the movies, the Harry Potter characters are all unique and very diverse. Let's take a look at who is the richest Harry Potter character. Number 5. Nicholas Flamel While Nicholas Flamel's appearance was only limited to one movie, the character played an essential part in the Harry Potter franchise and in setting the tone for the first book. When J.K. Rowling birthed Nicholas Flamel's character, he was given the role of being the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Nicholas Flamel appears in the Fantastic Beast movie. According to the movie, Nicholas Flamel has been part of the wizarding world for over 600 years and is an alchemist born in 1326. Nicholas Flamel manages to create the Sorcerer's Stone, which not only acts as an elixir for immortality, but can also be used for turning metals into pure gold. Being a one-of-a-kind product, the Sorcerer's Stone is bound to get Nicholas Flamel a lifetime supply of unlimited money, thus making him the richest Harry Potter character. While there are other characters in the franchise as well, no one even comes close to Nicholas Flamel. Number 4. Bellatrix and Rodolphus Lestrange if you have seen the Harry Potter movies, then you probably remember the part where Bellatrix Lestrange's vault in Gringotts is revealed. Upon the goblin opening the vault, we can see a vault that is filled to the brim with not just coins, but that also contains goblets, silver armor, jeweled potions, and strange creatures, and a skull wearing a crown. Just by the look of it, we can tell that Bellatrix Lestrange is one of the most loaded wizards in the Harry Potter world. But how did Bellatrix and Rodolphus Lestrange end up with all this money? Being a pure-blood descendant of the Black family and a part of the Lestrange family after she got married, Bellatrix was part of the two most successful pure-blood families in the wizarding world. Naturally, both Bellatrix and her husband inherited large sums of money from their families, making them two of the richest wizards in the Harry Potter world. Number 3. The Malfoys The Malfoys are known to be some of the most powerful families in the wizarding world, and their mansion in the Deathly Hollows is proof of their wealth. In the movie, the Malfoy Mansion hosts the Death Eaters meeting, where Lord Voldemort addresses his followers, and upon arriving at the Malfoy Mansion, Yasley mumbles out of envy that Lucius Malfoy has always done well in life. Well, we can't deny that, considering how his mansion had peacocks flaunting around, and was probably one of the biggest mansions we've seen in Harry Potter. Similar to the Black and the Strange family, the Malfoys are also a pure-blood family, with old money in their banks which has been passed down from generation to generation, making all their descendants well off. In addition to being one of the most powerful families in the wizarding world, Lucius Malfoy as an individual has made quite a name for himself. He holds a high position in the ministry and is feared by many. Even if you remember the starting of the Harry Potter series, unlike the less well-off families in the wizarding world, the Malfoys even had their own house elf, Dobby. Number 2. Harry Potter Looking at all the money that has been associated with Harry Potter in the book, we can conclude that Harry's accumulated wealth is worth at least $2.6 million. Being the main character of the book, Harry Potter is also one of the best off wizards in the wizarding world. Born to parents Lily and James Potter, Harry's ancestors were also one of the richest people in the wizarding world. Harry's father James came from a long line of pureblood wizards leaving all his wealth in Harry's name after he died. Linfren of Stitchholm was the first member of the Harry Potter family, who made numerous medical contributions to the wizarding world, including making Skella grow and Pepper Potion. Moving forward, the Potter's family wealth quadrupled in the 20th century, owing to the brilliant mind of Fleamont Potter, who made the Fleamont Sleek Easy Hair Potion. Moreover, Harry himself becomes an Auror after completing his education from Hogwarts. Being an Auror in the Wizarding World holds immense pride and honor and comes with a lot of money. Number 1. Gilderoy Lockhart After graduating from Hogwarts in 1982, Gilderoy Lockhart started out on a journey of traveling the world. Being an author and a dark wizard catcher, Gilderoy was able to narrate some of the most exciting and sometimes exaggerated versions of his travels in his books. This eventually led him to becoming a prominent author in the wizarding world, and bought him a tremendous amount of fortune. Lockhart's dark wizard catching capabilities were commendable, and he was capable of vanquishing almost all dark presences in the wizarding world. However, while Lockhart's books did bring him a lot of fame and money, they were always filled with self-praise and his personal tales of heroism. Every time Lockhart would set out on a new adventure, he would return home with a new story to write. His fans would always be waiting for his books, and lucky for them, Lockhart always had new stories up his sleeves. Considering the amount of books he wrote and the number of people who loved them, it's no surprise that Lockhart became one of the richest wizards in the Harry Potter world. 
Well, this was all you need to know about who is the richest Harry Potter character and how much they've made through the Harry Potter franchise. Let us know in the comments below who your favorite Harry Potter character is and don't forget to like our videos and subscribe.